Welcome back to Hollywood Inside 1960s. Today, we'll delve into the lives of once thriving stars who possessed everything but faced painful failures, ultimately losing almost everything and exiting the entertainment industry. All because of the vicious disease, cancer. Their stories are not only captivating but also a poignant lesson. Join us as we explore the tumultuous journey of these famous individuals who endured heartbreaking losses. Now, let's get started. Number 30. Yul Brynner, born Yuli Borisovich Briner, was born on July 11, 1920, in Vladivostok, Russia. He gained fame for his role in the film, The King and I, 1956, earning the Academy Award for Best Actor. Other notable works include, The Ten Commandments, and, The Magnificent Seven. In 1983, Brynner was diagnosed with late-stage lung cancer, undergoing treatment that affected his appearance. Despite his health struggles, the public continued to support and pray for him. Brynner's acting career was interrupted by illness, but he continued charitable work until his death in 1985. Number 29. Miguel José Ferrer was born on February 7, 1955, in Santa Monica, California. He gained recognition for roles in films such as Robocop, 1987, and the TV series Twin Peaks, 1990-1991. Ferrer's career peak was his role as Owen Granger in NCIS, Los Angeles, from 2012 to 2017. In 2015, Ferrer was diagnosed with late-stage throat cancer, undergoing treatment that drastically altered his appearance. Despite his health challenges, the public expressed sympathy and support for Miguel. His acting career was heavily impacted, but he is remembered for his impressive roles on screen. Ferrer passed away in 2017 at the age of 61. Number 28. Olivia Newton-John was born on September 26, 1948, in Cambridge, England. She gained global popularity through the iconic musical, Grease, 1978. In 1992, Newton-John was diagnosed with breast cancer, leading to a mastectomy. The cancer recurred five years later, requiring extensive treatment. Newton-John's skin turned pallid, and she experienced hair loss and physical weakness. Despite these challenges, her fans continued to support and uplift her spirits. While her singing career was interrupted, she remained active in charity work, contributing to medical research. Olivia Newton-John continues to be a music icon and an inspiration for many generations. Number 27. Steve McQueen, born Terence Stephen McQueen, was born on March 24, 1930, in Indiana. He became famous for his roles in action films like The Magnificent Seven, The Great Escape, and Bullet. The peak of McQueen's career was winning an Oscar for The Sand Pebbles, 1966. In 1979, McQueen was diagnosed with incurable lung cancer. After four months of treatment, his health declined significantly, with visible effects on his skin and a 15 kilograms weight loss. Despite public sorrow, McQueen maintained an optimistic attitude. While he couldn't continue acting, he participated in social activities. Steve McQueen passed away in November 1980, leaving behind enduring cinematic masterpieces. Number 26. Dennis Farina was born on February 29, 1944, in Chicago. He gained fame through crime films like Get Shorty, Out of Sight, and Snatch. Farina's greatest success came from his role in the TV series Law & Order, starting in 2004. 
In January 2012, Farina was diagnosed with untreatable lung cancer. After six months of treatment, he experienced severe weight loss, a pale complexion, and fatigue. The public expressed deep sympathy, offering encouragement to him. Farina's acting career was cut short by illness, but he is remembered as a talented actor. He passed away in July 2013 at the age of 69. Number 25. Patrick Swayze was born on August 18, 1952, in Houston, Texas. He gained global fame through emotionally charged films like Dirty Dancing and Ghost. The peak of Swayze's career was winning a Golden Globe for Best Actor. In 2008, Swayze was diagnosed with late-stage pancreatic cancer. Chemotherapy left severe effects on his body, with pallid skin, a 12 kilograms weight loss, and dark circles under his eyes. Despite public sympathy, Swayze maintained a cheerful demeanor. His acting career ended prematurely, but he remains a cultural icon of the 80s and 90s. Swayze passed away in 2009 at the age of 57, do you like this actor? If yes, comment with 1. If not, comment with 0 so we know about your preference. Number 24, Alan Rickman was born on February 21, 1946, in London, England. He gained global recognition for his mysterious role as Severus Snape in the Harry Potter series. Rickman also left his mark in works like Sense and Sensibility and Die Hard, winning Emmy and Golden Globe Awards. In August 2015, Rickman was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. The malignant tumor led to a 10 kilograms weight loss in just three months, a pale complexion, and fatigue. The public was shocked and mournful upon hearing the sad news. Rickman's acting career abruptly ended, but he remains an immortal name in world cinema. He passed away in January 2016 at the age of 69. Number 23. Diane Carroll was born on July 17, 1935, in New York. She gained widespread recognition through the TV series, Julia, in the 1960s. The peak of Carroll's career was winning a Tony Award for her Broadway performance. In March 1997, Carroll was diagnosed with breast cancer. After surgery and chemotherapy, she experienced a 6 kilograms weight loss, wrinkled skin, and white hair. Despite the challenges, the public continued to express affection and admiration for her. Carol's acting career was affected, but she remained actively involved in cancer-fighting charities. She passed away in 2019 at the age of 84. Number 22. Peter Fonda was born on February 23, 1940, in New York. He became widely known for his iconic film, Easy Rider, 1969. The peak of Fonda's career was winning a Golden Globe for Best Actor. In June 2019, Fonda was diagnosed with late-stage lung cancer. Treatment led to a 12 kilograms weight loss, a gaunt face, and a diminished physique. The public expressed deep sorrow upon hearing the distressing news. Fonda's acting career came to an end, but he left a lasting impact on his fans. He passed away in August 2019 at the age of 79. Number 21. Ben Cross was born on December 16, 1947, in London, England. He became widely known for his role as Harold Abrahams in the film, Chariots of Fire, 1981. 
The peak of Cross's career was winning an Oscar for Best Supporting Actor. In August 2020, Cross was diagnosed with late-stage thyroid cancer. Chemotherapy led to significant weight loss, pallid skin, and graying hair. The public was shocked upon hearing the sad news. Cross's acting career came to an abrupt end, but he is remembered as a talented actor. He passed away in the same year at the age of 72. Number 20. Ingrid Bergman was born on August 29, 1915, in Stockholm, Sweden. She became a global film star through works like Casablanca and Gaslight. The peak of her career was marked by winning three Oscars for Best Actress. In 1974, Bergman was diagnosed with breast cancer, leading to a mastectomy. Subsequent chemotherapy left her weakened, with gray hair. The public expressed immense sympathy and regret. Bergman's acting career was significantly affected, but she is still regarded as an enduring icon of cinema. She passed away in 1982 at the age of 67. Number 19. Richard Crenna was born on November 30, 1926, in Los Angeles. He was known for his roles in the Rambo series as Colonel Troutman. The peak of Crenna's career was winning a Golden Globe for Best Actor in the TV series Our Family Honor. In January 2003, he was diagnosed with late-stage pancreatic cancer. After five months of treatment, Crenna experienced a 10 kilograms weight loss, pale skin, and fatigue. The public expressed deep sympathy and regret. Krenna's acting career came to an abrupt end, and he passed away in January 2003 at the age of 76. Number 18. Gary Cooper Full name Frank James Cooper, was born on May 7, 1901, in Helena, Montana, USA. He became a leading Hollywood star through films like High Noon and Pride of the Yankees. The peak of his career was marked by winning two Oscars for Best Actor. In April 1960, Cooper was diagnosed with late-stage pancreatic cancer. After surgery and chemotherapy, he experienced a 25 kilograms weight loss, a haggard face, and gray hair. The public mourned and prayed for him. Cooper's career was interrupted and ended prematurely, but he remains an enduring Hollywood legend. He passed away in 1961, at the age of 60, do you like this actor? If yes, comment with 1. If not, comment with 0 so we know about your preference. Number 17, Farrah Fawcett was born on February 2, 1947, in Texas. She gained worldwide fame through the TV series, Charlie's Angels. The peak of her career was marked by winning a Golden Globe for Best Actress. In 2006, she was diagnosed with colorectal cancer. Chemotherapy took a toll on Fawcett's body, making her look gaunt, with pale skin and significant hair loss. The public was deeply saddened and prayed for her. Fawcett's career was abruptly halted by the devastating illness. She passed away in 2009 at the age of 62. Number 16. Willie Garson was born on February 20, 1964, in New Jersey. He was widely known for his role as Stanford Blatch in the popular TV series, Sex and the City. The peak of Garson's career was marked by winning a Golden Globe for Best Supporting Actor. In September 2021, he was diagnosed with late-stage pancreatic cancer. 
Garson underwent chemotherapy, leading to a 15 kilograms weight loss in just two months, a gaunt face, and fatigue. The public was deeply shocked and sympathetic to Garson's unfortunate fate. He passed away in the same year at the age of 57. Number 15. Charles Grodin was born on April 21, 1935, in Pittsburgh. He made a strong impression on audiences through films like Midnight Run and Beethoven. Grodin's significant success was marked by winning a Golden Globe for Best Actor in a Comedy for his outstanding work. In October 2020, he was diagnosed with late-stage liver cancer and bone marrow cancer. After six months of treatment, Grodin experienced a 10 kilograms weight loss, a pale complexion, and listlessness. The public was deeply shocked and regretful. Grodin's acting career came to an abrupt end, and he passed away in May 2021 at the age of 86. Number 14. Audrey Hepburn was born on May 4, 1929, in Brussels, Belgium. She became a Hollywood star with timeless classics like Roman Holiday and Breakfast at Tiffany's. The peak of her career was marked by winning an Oscar for Best Actress. In 1992, she was diagnosed with late-stage appendix cancer. After six months of treatment, Hepburn was severely weakened, experiencing a 10 kilograms weight loss, a haggard face, and spiritual exhaustion. The public felt heartbroken and continued to pray for her. Hepburn's acting career came to a complete halt. She passed away on January 20, 1993, at the age of 63. Number 13. Dennis Hopper was born on May 17, 1936, in Dodge City, Kansas. He left his mark on cinematic works like Easy Rider and Apocalypse Now. The peak of his career was marked by winning the Palme d'Or at the Cannes Film Festival. In 2009, Hopper was diagnosed with late-stage prostate cancer. After surgery, he underwent prolonged chemotherapy, leading to a weakened body and a 12 kilograms weight loss. The public was deeply shocked at the news. Hopper's acting career came to an abrupt end, and he passed away in 2010, at the age of 74. Number 12. William Hurt was born on March 20, 1950, in Washington, D.C. He made a strong impression on audiences through films like Body Heat and Kiss of the Spider Woman. The peak of his career was marked by winning an Oscar for Best Actor. In May 2018, Hurt was diagnosed with late-stage pancreatic cancer. After over a year of treatment, he experienced significant weight loss, wrinkled skin, and mental fatigue. The public was deeply saddened by his circumstances. Hurt's acting career faced a severe interruption, and he passed away in March 2022, at the age of 72. Number 11. DeForest Kelly was born on January 20, 1920, in Atlanta, Georgia. He was widely known for his role as Dr. Leonard Bones McCoy in the Star Trek series. The peak of Kelly's career was marked by winning a Saturn Award for Best Supporting Actor. In June 1998, he was diagnosed with stomach cancer in its late stages. After six months of treatment, Kelly was weakened, experiencing a 13 kilograms weight loss, wrinkled skin, and significant hair loss. The public expressed profound sympathy. 
Kelly's acting career came to a sudden end, and he passed away in June 1999, at the age of 79. Number 10. Dean Martin, born Dino Paul Crosetti on June 7, 1917, in Steubenville, Ohio, USA, was one of the most famous entertainers in the world during the 1950s and 60s. The peak of his career was marked by receiving a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. In September 1993, Martin was diagnosed with lung cancer. After a year of treatment, he lost 8 kilograms, his complexion became pallid, and his health declined. The public expressed profound condolences. Martin's acting career came to an end, and he passed away in December 1995 at the age of 78. Do you like this actor? If yes, comment with 1. If not, comment with 0 so we know about your preference. Number 9. Robert Mitchum, full name Robert Charles Duran Mitchum, born on August 6, 1917, in Bridgeport, Connecticut, USA, was hailed as one of the greatest male actors in the global film industry through works like The Story of G.I. Joe and Out of the Past. The peak of his career was marked by winning the Volpe Cup at the Venice Film Festival. In January 1997, Mitchum was diagnosed with late-stage lung cancer. After eight months of battling the disease, he passed away in the same year at the age of 79. The public mourned the loss of a film legend. Number 8. Sir Roger George Moore, born on October 14, 1927, in Stockwell, London, England, was a renowned actor in film and television. He is best known for portraying James Bond in seven iconic 007 films from 1973 to 1985. In 1991, he was diagnosed with prostate cancer and successfully underwent treatment. Due to chemotherapy, he appeared thinner, and his hair became sparser. Nevertheless, the public continued to love and admire him. His career was not significantly affected by the illness. Number 7. Paul Leonard Newman, born on January 26, 1925, in Shaker Heights, Ohio was a celebrated actor, director, and social activist. He was associated with roles in films such as Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, The Sting, and Road to Perdition. In 2008, Newman was diagnosed with late-stage lung cancer. Before his passing in 2009 due to complications from the disease, he exhibited a gaunt face, pale skin, and significant weight loss. Despite this, Newman continued to receive the love and admiration of the public, leaving an indelible mark on the history of cinema. Number 6. Jerome Bernard Orbach, born on October 20, 1935, in the Bronx, New York was a famous stage and screen actor known for his roles in the TV series, Law and & Order, and the Broadway musical, Chicago. In 2004, he was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer and passed away the following year due to complications from the disease. Before his death, he experienced severe weight loss, pallid skin, and dark circles under his eyes. Despite this, fans continued to hold him in high regard, and his sudden departure shocked the entertainment industry. Number 5. Sir Sidney Poitier, 
born on February 20, 1927, in Miami, Florida, was the first African-American actor to win the Academy Award for Best Actor for his role in Lilies of the Field. He also starred in iconic films like Guess Who's Coming to Dinner and In the Heat of the Night. In 1997, he was diagnosed with prostate cancer and successfully underwent treatment. Due to chemotherapy, he lost his hair and appeared much thinner. However, the public continued to love and respect him. He continued to contribute to the film industry until 2009. Number 4. Sidney Irwin Pollock, born on July 1, 1934, in Lafayette, Indiana, was a renowned director, producer, and actor nominated for Oscars for his works like Tootsie and Out of Africa. He was diagnosed with late-stage stomach cancer in 2007 and took his last breath on May 26, 2008. At the time of his passing, his face was noticeably gaunt, and his skin showed signs of chemotherapy. Despite these changes, the entertainment industry remembered and honored him for his lasting contributions to cinema. Number 3. Kelly Kamalelehua Smith, born on October 13, 1962, in Honolulu, Hawaii was a well-known actress in films like Jerry Maguire and For Love of the Game. In late 2010, she was diagnosed with breast cancer and underwent a mastectomy. Due to chemotherapy, she experienced significant hair loss, a gaunt face, and weight loss. Despite this, her husband John Travolta and the public continued to support and encourage her. She passed away in July 2020 due to a recurrence and metastasis of cancer, leaving behind a significant body of work. Number 2, Marion Robert Morrison, known as John Wayne, born on May 26, 1907, in Winterset, Iowa, was one of the most famous actors of the 20th century, often referred to as the Duke and associated with Western films. In 1964, he was diagnosed with lung cancer and had his left lung removed. Due to chemotherapy, he lost a significant amount of weight, his skin appeared pallid, and his hair turned white. Nevertheless, he remained beloved for his cinematic legacy. Wayne passed away in 1979 due to cancer. Number 1. Simon Charles Pendered McCorkendale, born on February 12, 1952, in Cambridge, England was a renowned film and television actor with roles in works like The Riddle of the Sands and Death on the Nile. In September 2010, he was diagnosed with late-stage bowel cancer and passed away in October of the same year. Before his death, he experienced significant weight loss, pallid skin, and hair loss. Family, friends, and colleagues mourned the untimely loss of this talented actor. He is remembered for his impactful roles. Thank you for joining us on this interesting journey through the transformations of iconic figures. If these stories intrigued you, don't forget to hit the like button, share this video with those who love compelling narratives, and subscribe to Hollywood Inside 1960s for more riveting content. Your support fuels our passion for unraveling the untold stories of these influential personalities. Stay tuned for more revelations, and until next time, keep the curiosity alive. See you soon on Hollywood Inside 1960s.